Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to work with IC CD4033. So let's get started. CD4033 It is a 7 segment display driver. It drives common cathode 7 segment display. It has 16 pins. Pin number 8 is ground and pin number 16 is plus VCC. Here we are going to use plus 5 volt. Pin number 1 is clock input pin and pin number 5 is carry out. As we know the 7 pins of 7 segment are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we will connect pin number 10 to A, it is B, C, D, E, F and G. So these are output pin. Pin number 15 is reset pin or we can say it is master reset and it is active high. So whenever we make this pin high, this IC will reset. We have to provide something. So it is input pin. Pin number 14 is lamp test or you can say it is display test. Whether the display is ok or not, this will check it. So it is also input pin, it is lamp test. Pin number 2 is clock inhibit, it is input pin. It is active high pin, so whenever we make this pin high, the clock input pin will be disabled. So to work with this IC, we have to make this pin low. So in general, we will connect this pin to the ground. And this pin also because it's just to see whether the display is ok or not. So in general we connect this pin to the ground. Pin number 14 and pin number 2. Pin number 3 is RBI and pin number 4 is RBO. RBI means ripple blanking input and RBO means ripple blanking output. In the 7 segment display we can see from 0 to 9. If you don't want to see the zero, then make this pin low and if you want to see the zero, then you have to make this pin high. In this video, I am going to connect this pin to plus 5 volt. We will discuss this thing in details in next video. So in next video, I will discuss pin number 3, pin number 4 and pin number 5. So in this video, simply I am connecting this pin to plus 5 volt. Now we will see the practical circuit. IC4033 7 segment display. The common pin of the display is connected to the ground. It has 7 pins A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Here it is pin 10, 12, 13, 9, 11, 6 and 7. In between display and the IC we have to connect 220 ohms resistor. With all this we have to connect this resistor. Pin number 16 is connected to the plus 5 volt, pin number 8 to the ground. In this video, we are going to see the working of pin number 14, 15, pin number 1, 2 and 3. And in the next video, we will see pin number 3, 4, 5 in details. So here it is 1, 2, 3, 14 and 15. These are all input. Pin number 1, 2, 3, 14 and 15. These are all input pin. With all this, I am going to connect a switch to provide the input. The other side of the switch is connected to the plus 5 volt. As these are input, so we have to connect pull down resistor. The value of the resistor is 10 kilo ohms and I already explained why should we connect this resistor. Link is given in the description below. And also we are going to connect an LED with this to see whether the switch is on or off. The value is 220 ohms. These are all 220 ohms. So this is the practical circuit. Now we are going to see this on breadboard. One request, please consider to subscribe my channel. This will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you. This is the IC CD4033. Pin number 16 to the positive rail. 8 to the negative rail. Pin number 1, 2, 3, 14 and 15 are the input pin, 
so we are connecting pull down resistor common cathode 7 segment display common pin is connected to the negative rail see the pin diagram of this 5 pin in this side and 5 pin in this side ok this is it as it is common cathode so this pin should be connected to the ground this middle pin or this one ok this one is A it is B C D E F and G and this pin is dot for this one so this is the pin diagram we have to connect A B C D E F G so we need 7 resistors these are all 220 ohms A B C D E F G so 10 is A 12 is B 13 is C 9 is D 11 is E 6 is F and 7 is G I see two resistor is connected now we have to connect resistor and display this is A B C D E F and G display is connected now we have to connect the input switch putting the switch this switch is for clock input that is pin number 1 it is clock inhibit that is pin number 2 this is for ripple blanking input that is pin number 3 master reset or pin number 15 and it is lamp test or pin number 14 one pin of the switch is connected to the positive rail now connecting the LEDs positive pin is connected with the switch and with the negative pin I am connecting 220 ohms resistor this switch is clock input so I am connecting this to pin number 1 the second switch clock inhibit so it is connected to pin number 2 it is RBI so connecting pin number 3 this is master reset so I am connecting to pin number 15 and this switch is display or lamp test so I am connecting this to pin number 14 so this is the connection now we have to connect 5 volt power supply here 5 volt positive and negative it is clock input so when we provide clock pulse it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now you can see the zero is not glowing now again one is glowing this is because the RBI pin is low when you make this high then it will glow this is RBI again you can see see now the zero is glowing we will discuss this thing in next video so for now we are making this RBI pin high I am directly connecting this pin to positive rail ok now you don't need this LED this switch now pin 3 is directly connected to the positive rail this switch is for clock inhibit which is connected to the pin number 2 when you make this pin high the clock input will not work so to work with this IC we need to active the clock input so in general pin number 2 should be connected to low this is pin number 2 and I am connecting this to the ground we don't need this switch and the LED it is working nicely now come to this switch it is lamp test or display test when you make this pin high that is pin number 14 all the segment will glow up ok so with this you can see whether your display is nicely working or not when you work with this IC we don't have to connect an extra pull down resistor or a switch ok 
so remove it and connect pin number 14 to the ground so this is the basic connection now what we have done is pin number 2 to the ground pin number 3 to plus 5 volt and with pin number 14 to the ground in general we have to connect like this only 2 3 14 2 is connected to the ground 3 is connected to the plus 5 volt and pin 14 is connected to the ground so the switch and all these are connected to pin number 1 and pin number 15 this switch is connected to pin number 15 when you make this pin high the IC will reset to 0 here you can see and it is always resetting so this clock input is not working when you make this low this will work again reset so this is the basic working of these pins so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you how to cascade cd4033 till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching